What about people, so you don't believe in sex addiction, you don't believe in porn addiction. What about people who say that they compulsively cannot stop watching porn and that it interferes with their lifestyle and it interferes with their work and that it's something they spend all their time on the internet? What do you think mm-hmm. that, that that is? So, you know, I hear that story a lot. Um, and first, I have to say that typically that is a self-correcting problem. If you lose your job because you're watching porn, eventually you're going to lose the ability to pay for the Internet. <laughs> and uh, that problem's going to kind of go away. Um, research in Canada actually found that, you know, so-called behavioral addictions, including porn addiction, typically resolve without treatment within six months to a year. Mm-hmm. This is about adjustment. Um, it's about accommodation and adaptation. Um, now, what I will say, though, is that you know significant research around these issues identifies that as many as 90% of these folks struggling with sex or porn addiction um, have another mental health issue, mm-hmm. typically depression or anxiety, obsessive-compulsive disorders, sometimes autism, and um, – this repetitive kind of obsessive, we'll call it compulsive behavior, um, is a symptom of something else. Now, one of the things that, you know, that it is men who are getting diagnosed with this. Mm-hmm. Women who get diagnosed as, as sex addicts or love addicts is typically all about slut shaming. And these women are not typically actually having certainly as much sex as your mom did, right? <laughs> mom but your mom <laughs> fa- was able to accommodate that and negotiate that within their marriage, so they had no problem. I actually yeah. treated this one guy who, um, you know, he was obsessed with being a swinger, and his first two wives um, divorced him, and therapists diagnosed him as a sex addict because he really wanted to be a swinger. His third wife cured him and he was no longer a sex addict. How did she cure him? She was a fucking swinger. <laughs> right? So so now 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 this is okay. Right. You know, two of the people that I met that I've known in person who said that they struggled with porn addiction were both alcoholics. Yeah, and and so then we have to start looking at how is this behavior a symptom of these other problems? Right. Um men um, I envy women in a lot of ways, um, besides the whole, you know, multiple orgasms kind of thing, that women are taught from a very early age to express and experience um, in negative emotions and to, to learn how to cope with them and deal with them. Guys are told, suck it up. Mm-hmm. And so we have all of these men – who, you know, don't know how to manage negative emotions, depression, sadness, anger, um, anxiety, worry. And, and masturbation and watching porn is a really effective way to change the way your brain is working at the moment mm-hmm. and turn on some of those sexual kind of components of your brain that make you not worry. When we are turned on, it's hard to worry about stuff. And so that feels really good for somebody who is feeling depressed or feeling sad and really worrying a lot. The challenge is, you know, if you're sitting in church and you're stressed out, it's not a good time to watch porn. (laughs) So you need other coping strategies. And so that's what I see again with lots and lots of these guys who, you know, um, most of my practice um, for a while was filled with these guys who were losing losing their job because they'd gotten caught looking at porn at work. And overwhelmingly, we find a couple of things. One is um, that these guys are you know watching porn and masturbating more. Let, let's be clear. Every argument against porn is covertly an argument against masturbation mm-hmm. because people jerk off when they watch porn. 90% of porn consumption is accompanied by masturbation. And by the way, I have a solution to all of you guys who uh, watch too much porn and masturbate to it frequently work in porn and you won't watch (laughs) porn anymore. (laughs) Yeah. It will ruin it for you. (laughs) Those guys, um, something's going on in their marriage. Typically, they stopped having sex as frequently. Mm. And um, research shows that men use masturbation and porn as a way to compensate for decreased sex frequency within the marriage. And also, it's not just frequency, but in, you know, I've treated many men with, you know, fetishes or, you know, desires or interests that they couldn't fulfill within their marriage because it was shamed or not allowed, whatever. And so they use porn as a way to, as a, as a way to compensate for that. Um, We need to look at how to help those men and couples negotiate those issues. Um, You know, research looking at at the effect of porn on marriages finds that if if a husband and husband and wife watch as much porn equally, or if they watch porn together, there's no negative impact on the marriage. But when the husband watches porn in secret. 
or when one or both of the partners are religious, the porn use correlates with negative impact on the marriage. Mm-hmm. It it's not the porn here. The porn is uh, is a is an indicator of a mismatched libido, of inability to negotiate sexual needs within the marriage, um, to talk about sexuality, and that there's a lot of shame around the sexuality. Though, and again, back to the shame. Those are the things that are causing these problems. But it's real easy to say, oh, see, it's porn, as opposed to digging deeper and let's treat the real issue. I mean, what I like to say is if I walk in the doctor's office and I'm sneezing, my doctor doesn't say, David, you know, you got a sneezing addiction. You need to stop that. (laughs) Instead, tries to figure out, do I have a virus? Do I have a bacterial infection? Do I have allergies? And we have to. It's really just a symptom. That's right. We have to treat each of those differently. Right. Porn and porn related problems are always universally a symptom of something else. And if we treat the porn, we're missing the point. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.